Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, New St. Augustine, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind adjust the theme, crossing new frontiers to conquer today's challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8th, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, New East St. Augustine. Looking back since ancient times, computing aids have improved from the dust board to the blackboard to the motherboard and now across motherboards or across a new internet. When you are inventing something, that thing is yours. When you've invented that thing, you give that thing to posterity, and that thing is no longer yours. I believe that for thousands of years, the massively parallel processing supercomputer will remain at the essential core of the science of computing. I believe that the supercomputer will remain an extension of humanity and that massively parallel processing around the planetary size internet will be passed from civilization to civilization. I believe that massively parallel supercomputing will be an intrinsic part of man made brains of our post human descendants of year million. My moment of experimental discovery was 8.15 in the morning of the 4th of July, 1989. At 8.15 in the morning in Los Alamos, New Mexico, United States, I witnessed the birth cry of a new computer that is a new supercomputer, that is a new internet, that is outlined as a new global network of 65,536 processors. I saw something no human had ever seen before. I saw an ensemble of the slowest processors in the world and performed the fastest supercomputer in the world. I got goosebumps and my hair stood on end while I watched my invention unfold. Seeing for the first time ever, the slowest processors compute together to compute faster than the fastest supercomputer was the most amazing experience in my life. I was witnessing the birth of a new era in the history of the computer. I was witnessing a paradigm shift in the supercomputer world. I was witnessing a change of tectonic proportions that forever affected the way we think about the computer. I was gazing across the centuries. That 4th of July 1989 marked the moment we changed the way we look at the supercomputer. That 4th of July 1989 marked the moment when for the first time ever an ensemble of the slowest processors computed together and computed as one seamless cohesive unit and computed faster than the fastest supercomputer. For me, Philip M. Aguale, that 4th of July 1989 was a day of fire, the day the massively parallel processing supercomputer became the fire we can't put out. After my discovery on that day, trying to stop the acceptance of the massively parallel processing supercomputer became like trying to stop midnight. My experimental discovery of the massively parallel processing supercomputer 
that occurred on the 4th of July, 1989, that occurred across a new internet that is a new global network of 64 binary thousand processors, opened the door to the state-of-the-art new supercomputers that now compute 10 binary million times faster. That new supercomputer, in turn, creates a new computer science. Before my, my discovery, or in the 1980s or earlier, one, the 1,000 fastest supercomputers in the world used only one processor. After my discovery, or after the 4th of July, 1989, the 1,000 fastest supercomputers in the world parallel processed and used thousands or millions of commodity off the shelf processors. The paradigm shift was from computing and communicating in the singular to doing both in the plural senses. On the 4th of July, 1989, I witnessed the unveiling to the human race of a new understanding of the world's computer and supercomputer. In the old dictionary, the computer was powered by only one processor that was not a member of an ensemble of processors. In my new dictionary, my new computer was powered by my new ensemble of 65,536 commodity of the shelf processors that cohesively computed as one seamless new supercomputer. The computer is the greatest invention of the 20th century. Insightful and brilliant lecture.